All right, everyone, we will get start with head, start with head coach Oscar Preja. Uh Oscar, just for for a win, shout out and a lot of goals tonight. How's the team feeling after this one? Boy, boys are uh, happy and they're uh, very pleased with that performance. And that I think it was uh, one of our uh, most uh, respon responsible performance. Uh, and the respect of the game that they showed today was very good. I'm very pleased with it, and even when the game turns uh, into uh, a game that it was much dominated, they they were very very respectful, and that's why they scored uh, uh, goals. So good sensations. It's still our responsibility to be in front of our fans. Uh, congratulations to them, and it is a special day for America. Uh, we are very proud to belong to your community, to the fans, uh, to this country that has provided us all the opportunity um, to work. So enjoy your day and congratulations to the whole country. We're happy today. Good, Austin. Oscar, congratulations on the convincing win. Um, obviously, playing a game four days removed from uh, another uh, victory here at home, just kind of coming into this knowing that you know, players were kind of a little bit tired and, and short preparation time. How do you feel that the, the game plan was executed from the team and, and just in that short amount of time and, and how proud do you feel of them in doing so? Right, yeah, it was a short recording. The, 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 the boys were very responsible with their uh, duties on trying to get back the energy and we imagined a game that it was going to be harder, especially in the first 30 minutes where uh, we saw a team that it was going to come with energy, young players, and and uh, we wanted um, to resolve it from the beginning. That first goal uh, gave us a lot of confidence, and and after that, what I said is um, that I like is that everybody was just on the duty. It, it was not uh, overconfident. It was not uh, 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 f feeling different. That just winning the game the way we should do it in front of our fans. So. It's a good feeling, N not not too much time to enjoy it, but uh, we got to get ready for the Real Salt Lake, and but the boys are playing well, and we're proud. Go to Michael, then Chris. Oscar, congrats on the win. Um, the dominating win, but after the second goal, after Maguire's goal in the 22nd minute, seemed like just a few minutes where the team kind of relaxed a little mm -hmm. bit, gave too much space right before the hydration break. Did you notice that, and, mm -hmm. and what did you tell your team during the water break? Ryan, in, uh, uh, it happened as well in the, in the, in the last game uh, against Chicago, and we had a moment where uh, we defending lower that we, we wanted, uh, and 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 Chicago had the ball and it's created a couple sequences there. Today, Toronto start doing it uh, for that period. Uh, I have to say, Michael, that um, it, it was quite hard uh, to maintain the whole rhythm today. I, in that moment, I noticed that we we were getting cut a little bit in the energy, but we respond well. The boys came back to the game, score, and uh, and then we start pacing the game. So we wanted probably more um, speed and, and and create more sequences. But I, I recognize that the boys were pacing, and they, they, it was a big effort today. It was hot, and the recording has been short. So, but but you're right. It was a period the same as Chicago, and we lost control. And oh, well, we went back. Yeah. I'm going to go Chris, Kyle, then Alonzo in the back. Oscar, you mentioned it at the beginning uh, with your statement about the respect that the guys had for the Toronto players. Even later in the game when it was evident you guys had that in hand, is that something that, that you also stress when you're teaching the guys about the play of soccer? Right, because uh, in a long career and in, in this uh, job and, and this sport, the competitiveness and, and all these things that we have got through these many years, we have been in moments where the things doesn't come right, and and uh, and all what you want in front is a team that respects you, and the best way to respect is to play at our max, and not not making feel that that we're winning 3-0. No, we're just competing against the guys 
that are very professionals because today was a big big day for all but it was hot and for us it was hot that we live here in Toronto as well or probably more but again the respect that they have for the game today it, it, it was it was good very good I'm proud of that Chris can you just pass that back to Kyle Hey, Oscar, uh, congrats on the win. I don't know if you've seen yet, but uh, tonight's win is now 150 career MLS wins for you as a head coach, only the sixth coach in league history to do that. What does it mean to reach that milestone in front of the home fans here? Um, I didn't know, but uh, it just made me feel grateful uh, again for the opportunity that I have had uh, and to work here. And in this country during that many years uh, be part of this project that uh, MLS has created in these 25, 26 years and recognizing that being a coach is very, a very difficult job but as well uh, these times are nice uh, grateful with the community grateful for uh, Orlando to make me be part of this project too and grateful with God just to give me opportunity as well that's all, all what I said no. Alonso in the back Muchas profe, felicidades por el por el juego de hoy y quería preguntarle más que todo físicamente cómo están los jugadores ya que en 17 días han jugado 5 partidos incluyendo en la fecha FIFA que tuvo jugadores como Facundo que llegó a Orlando y tuvo que viajar a Seattle 6 horas y también Pedro y Wilder que se, se unieron al equipo en As, eh, desde Asia entonces físicamente el equipo sigue respondiendo muy bien cuatro partidos con la valla invicta, pero ¿cómo físicamente se encuentran esos jugadores en cara de dos partidos también que tienen que viajar a Utah y después ir a, a otro partido de visitante? Sí, creo que andan muy bien físicamente. Tendría que reconocerlos a todos porque han hecho un esfuerzo muy grande en mantener esta consistencia de buenos resultados y buenas eh, 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 actuaciones. Esos esos muchachos eh, eh, están comprometidos con ellos mismos y pues nos hacen sentir muy bien. Falta mucho recorrido, falta mucha liga, pero yo los veo físicamente bien. Uh, I think physically they responden uh, the way I see the group uh, in spite of uh, the proximity of the games and the, the quantity of the games uh, and uh, their, their, their performance. And um, and we're proud. Yeah, but it's a long way to go still. We're going to Nathaniel and then Nicholas. Coach, uh, beginning of the season, struggling to get results at home. You're stressing about getting wins or just any kind of result at home. Now it's seven games unbeaten between wins and draws. What's changed and how has that happened for you guys to go on this run here at Exploria? Um, that we're scoring goals, uh, that changed the whole picture. Make, make us all look better. Um, it's a consequence of the boys doing the right things and um, resist or endure the difficult moments that we had with games hit at home where they tied us in the last minute. And um, Now the, the, the boys are... They kept going. Uh, we're doing the right things. We're scoring goals. That make a huge difference. You score goals, you get points, and and especially here at home, that that we had a big, uh, <laughs> we have a big task with our fans. Uh, we 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 definitely we recognize that. I'm happy to see that this happening now. Nicholas. <clears throat> Hey, Oscar, uh, just wondering about your opinion on Rafael Santos's development uh, since he's come mm -hmm. into the year. First, he was fighting for that position alongside Petrasso, and now it seems like he's really grown into his own two really great crosses. Just um, Right. Yeah. It's great to see Rafa. Luca, is, he, came, he came back also from injury, and Luca looks much better. Rafa's adaptation and development with the group has been incredible too. He's providing us something that uh, that we did not have, which is help us on the creation of the sequence in the left, as we do it with Joao, with Luca, with him. But now he's 
getting us that opportunity to be deeper and be heavier in the left, not just in the right. And he has the the gene to do it. He has the um, the personality to do it. And then we get in what you mentioned, the crossing from him. It's another tool. So we're very pleased with Rafa. He's very humble and very uh, coachable. Um, it's, it, it's progressing a lot. We're going to go two more. We're going to go to the Mike Ramajo on the Zoom, and then we'll wrap up with one more from Austin. Sí, es una muy buena pregunta porque nos da la oportunidad de reconocer también algo que los pelados hicieron hoy muy bien, que fue eh, entrar al partido con responsabilidad y, y haciendo las cosas muy bien. Dagur nos está dando una posibilidad diferente en la derecha, como la lateral derecho, como extremo o como interior. Archan también con humildad entró hoy y su gol. Ramiro ya está encontrando su espacio. O sea que eso nos va a hacer más fuertes, eh, definitivamente. Uh, I think it's a good, very good question about the guys that are coming from the bench. Understanding that they're not starting at the moment, but they come on the bench with that energy, with that responsibility, and they're adding things too. So Dagur is helping us in the right, as the right um, back or right interior or right winger. He changed energies there with that speed and that technique. Arshan, with humbleness, came today and helped us just to score and be part of the group also, as always. Ramiro is getting and finding that space in the team. He's progressing. Um, so those things make us much better team, for sure, in a long way. Awesome, last one. Oscar, I uh, just wanted to ask you about Junior and, and Nani being here visiting and, and having them in the stands watching this game, what it meant uh, for, for you and, and this team, guys that had played with those guys in the, in the past, to, to have them here and uh, still kind of having them be a part of the team in a way. Uh, something that uh, I have not seen before much on other teams or along my career. Uh, when we saw Nani and Junior, that they come and visit us. And the first thing that they ask was to be part of the training. And that that made us feel that this is home for them, that despite of the guys leaving or not staying, which is part of the, in the industry and the game, but they belong. Um, the joy that they had with the teammates there, uh, is, is, that was neat, it was neat. And, and they they're training, they they're training, and it is 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 a good story to tell. Nice. Alpha, uh, congratulations on the uh, assist tonight. Just kind of what was what was working for the team over the course of the ninety minutes, and, and especially for for you guys on that left side, um, kind of mixing in with uh, with Faku and, and getting those crosses in. O que é que correu tão bem para você no lado esquerdo? Por que é que estava a funcionar bem com o Faco e com o time na primeira parte? E... Ah, muito obrigado, né? Pela, pelas palavras. Eu acho que o que a gente vem treinando, como eu falei no início, né? A gente está colocando em prática tudo o que a gente vem treinando. A gente vem se dedicando, eu, Faco, Ivan, toda a equipe. E está funcionando porque pelo, pelo trabalho, né? Pelo trabalho que o Oscar está fazendo. Então, todo o mérito da equipe também, não só do lado esquerdo, mas todo lado, todo funcionou em todos os todo o centro do campo ali, a defesa, o meio, o ataque. Então, a gente saiu muito feliz hoje, aonde é, saiu tudo perfeito do jeito que a gente queria. Uh, the work today is a reflection of all of the hard work that we've been doing. We've been working on all of this in training. Uh, it's um reflective of the work that Oscar is putting in. It's not only us on the left side, myself, Faku, and Yvonne, uh, but everyone on the team, things worked really well um, in the middle of the park as well. And so this is, again, what we've been training, what we've been doing, um, just listening to, to what Oscar has been saying, and, and that's why things are working.
you guys getting results at home over the last seven games? Is it are you just feeling more comfortable at home or more confident uh, that now that you're getting results, or, or did anything change um, other than scoring more goals at home? Ultimamente vocês estão a conseguir as vitórias ou os resultados aqui em casa. O que é que tem mudado? Alguma coisa mudou? Ou foi um, um uh, tema de confiança? O que é que, o que, é que tem, tem mudado? Não, eu creio que não mudou nada, né? A gente vem fazendo bons jogos dentro de casa. Às vezes a vitória não estava vindo, mas a gente estava conseguindo o um empate. Né? A gente deixou muitos pontos eh, em casa escapar. Né, mas isso não, não nos abalou, a gente continuou jogando e buscando os resultados e agora a gente está colhendo tudo aquilo que a gente vem plantado também com os resultados e como eu disse, né, tudo que a gente vem treinado, tudo que a gente, o esforço que a gente está fazendo no dia a dia é, é o fruto que a gente está colhendo e isso a gente mostrou e tem muito mais por vir, a gente tem muito para subir na tabela também para a gente conseguir buscar nosso objetivo. And nothing's changed. Um, we were playing really strong games here at home, but unfortunately we weren't getting the results. We had a lot of uh, points slip through our fingers, even though we were performing well. And, and what's changed is that we've just continued to work, continued to apply what we're doing in training. And finally, we're seeing the fruits of that labor. Uh, we still want to be performing a lot better. We still want to climb the table. There's a lot of work yet to be done, yet to be done and uh, the best is yet to come. How comfortable have you felt now within this team? A couple months ago, you were talking about how the adjustment from from Brazil has been kind of challenging, the, the faster pace of the games, the more physicality. But now that you've gotten some time to kind of adjust, how, how have you kind of felt in terms of your skill set within this team? Você falou que a mudança do Brasil a chegar aqui para a MLS era, era difícil. O jogo aqui é diferente, é mais físico. O que tem mudado? Como é que estás a sentir agora? Um, estás mais confortável dessa, dessa evolução? Ah, desde quando eu cheguei, meus companheiros me ajudaram muito, né? Desde quando eu cheguei, meus companheiros me ajudaram muito dentro de campo, fora de campo ali, é, me dando todo o suporte. Então, creio que só levou um tempinho né, de adaptação, mas é, isso não, 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 me afetou, não afetou muito. E me deram muita confiança, o Oscar me deu muita confiança, o Antônio e toda a equipe. Então eu tenho que, eu só tenho a agradecer a eles, né? E eu sou muito, e eu tenho, é, creio que eu tenho muito potencial para ajudar eles a, ajudar eles e ajudar o Orlando a, a sair com cada vez mais vitória de cada jogo. My teammates, my teammates really helped me from the beginning. Um, it was a tough transition. It just took me a little bit of time, but thanks to them, thanks to the confidence that Oscar has had in me, I've been able to adapt. Um, I think I have a lot of potential, uh, a lot that I can do to help this team. Uh, Antonio, just like my other uh, teammates, have really helped me, and, and I want to be able to help Orlando the maximum way that I can. On the second goal, when you went to cross the ball and then deflected off the defender toward the goalkeeper, did you think that the chance had gone away? Were you surprised to see Duncan cut in front and get that flick on for the goal? Quando cruzaste a bola para o Duncan e o defensor fez a um, bateu na bola, pensaste que a oportunidade foi foi tchau ou, ou pensaste que o Duncan ia conseguir o gol? Sim, a gente é, sempre falo para ele, né, que os meus cruzamentos são fortes no primeiro pau, no, na primeira trave. Então, eu sempre falo para ele correr ali, que ele, que ele vai fazer o gol. E com isso saiu a dancinha também, que, que isso mostra o, como a gente está unido, né? Então, é isso, eu sempre falo para ele, ó, vai, vai na primeira trave que você vai fazer gol e eu, eu vou te dar mais gol assim, né? Você me ajuda e eu te ajudo. E aí sai mais dancinha também. Um, we discussed it, we discussed it during training. I told him, um, you know, that I give a really good ball to the first post. And so I told him, go there, go there, and, and I'll be able to provide you with a goal. And he did it, and that's why we were so happy after the moment did happen. Um, it's another example of how the team is really united, how our confidence is building, how our chemistry is building, and, and we're able to convert these kinds of goals. We'll go one more, um, two more. Parabéns pela vitória e Ah, é fisicamente, não só eu, mas como a equipe, a gente já vem trabalhando com, com o professor, a gente está muito bem, 
né? pode ver no jogo assim, a gente não deixa um minuto de correr, a gente está sempre correndo para frente, né? buscando o resultado, independente se a gente está ganhando de 2 a 0 ou 1 a 0, a gente está sempre correndo para frente, isso mostra que fisicamente estão muito bem. E sobre o, a dança com o Danca, é, ele, ele é, acho que escuta muito, gosta da música brasileira, e isso eu acabei vendo e falei para ele, ah, vamos, 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 cada vez que você fazer o gol, a gente faz uma dancinha, então, e ele gostou. E espero dar mais gol para ele, né, para a gente dançar mais, fazer uma dancinha e mostrar é, a felicidade que é o nosso grupo, como o nosso grupo está unido e mostrar para a torcida aqui que isso mostrar para a torcida como estamos fora do campo e dentro do campo cada vez mais unido. Uh, he was asking about the physicality of the team having played so many games back to back um, and to also elaborate on the little dance that he did with Duncan after the game. Uh, he says that physically the team are, are very good. Obviously, it's a lot of matches, but that, um, you know, during the game from beginning to end that they're running, they're running forward. They are after the result. They're fighting for the result. Even when they're winning, they want to score more goals. Um, they don't ever sit back. And so physically, that shows that they are very strong. The dance with Duncan, um, he says that he thinks that Duncan likes uh, Brazilian music and that this was uh, something that they discussed, um, that if he scored that they would do that little dance and that Rafa thinks that it shows um, all of our fans how united they are, how they are, you know, not only on the pitch but off the pitch as well, that they're friends and that he hopes that he can dance with Duncan many more times this season. Dagger, uh, congratulations on, on getting your first MLS goal. Just walk me through the play. The, the feeling of scoring and, and just kind of what it means to you? Uh, it was an amazing feeling, I'll tell you that. Uh, it was it's a sequence that we do a lot and we train a lot, so it was nice to get a goal from that. Uh, I saw Cesar get the ball, I just pointed, I think, and the ball came, then I saw the keeper a little bit and I thought, oh, well, I'll just go. If he hits me, it hit me, but then I went past him and I scored, finally. You're, uh, we were talking to Oscar. Oscar was praising your ability to you know, stay focused and come in and bring energy off the bench. And you've been you know, playing right back a little bit uh, and training there. What does it mean as a substitute to come on and be able to provide that energy and score for your team there uh, to put the game away, essentially? It's an amazing feeling, of course. Uh, the only thing that usually matters in a team sport is to win the games. And for me, I know it's a cliche, but if I can help the team w win the games and get the game over the line, then that's amazing and it's a good feeling to, to score as well. This team has been getting results at home, seven games undefeated at home now. What's been working and what's the feeling like with the, with the locker room right now? Um, it's a great feeling actually. We, like, we talked when we were in like kind of a downswing, we talked all together and, and pointed at the things that needed to be fixed, which was to score goals at home. And that's actually clicking now, which is, it's good and, and amazing for the fans as well. So it's good to, to get the wins. And, and the goals were, the, we were playing well, I thought, but the goals were the only thing that was missing. And now they're coming, so that's why we're winning. Um, I wanted to ask you like, about like, this game. You can tell like, it was a different feeling. Like, were you like, like, perceiving that a goal was coming because you were playing right fullback and you were connecting with the forwards, you were going up. Arapo was sending you a lot of balls, not mm -hmm. only assist. Mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah, I've been for the last couple of weeks and months. I've been like almost just dreaming about the goal, but uh, I got some chances last game, and and I felt it was like matter of time, and and finally it it came, and uh, I'll tell you, I was really happy. This seems like a deeper Orlando City team than we've seen in the past, and obviously it's your first year here. But do you sense that when you play two games so close together, and the other teams traveled, and, and you you have that energy advantage in the second half? Yeah, I just feel like we've been training amazing and, and, and everybody are in the shape of their lives, I think. And, and I feel like for the guys who played the both games 90 minutes, I felt like it was easy for them to, there was no problems, no, like no one was having cramps and stuff like that. So I just think that's, of course, the coaches, but they've been doing also, we've been doing an amazing job in the trainings and, and that's what's helping, I think. How much is the training in that 96 degree heat affect kind of teams that are coming here and visiting, especially like for you playing in it now that you've got exactly. gotten a couple months to adjust to it. Yeah. And really do. How, how, is it, how does that kind of... I would say the heat is not 
the problem, it's the humidity that's the problem. Uh, for me, like, I walk out the door and it's like hitting a wall. You're like, what, what, what's going on here? In Iceland, it's not like that. So that's, that's for me, it's, it's the only difference. But I don't know how it's for the away teams, but probably the same feeling. For example, now it was, it was really warm, but, but it doesn't matter when you win. Playing out on the right um, or even watching on the bench, you, 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 we've seen this year Cesar and Wilder form an amazing partnership. In exactly. What has it been like for you to see these guys start to grow together and, and create that wall in front of the back line? It's unbelievable. I think Wilder has come into the team and almost just changed the dynamic of the team. He's been doing an amazing job. And he's a great defensive and also improving a lot in attacking. So him and Cesar for us are, are doing an amazing job and basically just gluing the team together, which is what midf midfielders should do. And me, like as a midfielder or a midfielder, we'll say, like I'll just, it's nice to just see it and, and watch it and learn from them. So it's, it's great, actually. I've seen you play in a multitude of positions talked about it when you first got here you, you play everywhere but goalkeeper exactly um, just being able to have that versatility on, on this team where you know places are hard to come by how much does that kind of help uh, you kind of work your way into the team and especially scoring tonight and having good performances kind of showing the coaching staff that you are a viable option yeah I think it it helps a lot and and of course I'm I'm willing to do it but sometimes it can also be not bad, but it's like it can affect your performance a little bit if you go from like there to there to there. But like wherever they tell me to play, I'll play. But it's sometimes it's like frustrating. But like if we win the games and, and I'm helping the team, then it doesn't matter actually.